Risky business for certain homeowners in California. State Farm making some changes, no longer offering home insurance to new California customers. The insurance giant saying it stopped accepting applications for businesses and personal lines due to uh, wildfire risks and high construction costs. Now, if you're an existing customer, you're not affected by this. With us now, Janet Ruiz is the Director of Strategic Communications for the Insurance Information Institute. Uh, Janet, welcome, and thank you very much for coming on. You know, we've, we've covered this story now for several days, and we've seen other states like Florida uh, have impacted insurance companies because of the risk of hurricanes. Now we're talking about wildfire in California, but tell me big picture about this move by State Farm. Does it surprise you? Thanks for having me. The insurance industry has lost 20 years of underwriting profits in California over the last six years. And that's due to these uh, wildfires, uh, more wildfires, more structures burning, um, and also the inflation and the high cost of building uh, has actually outpaced inflation. So these factors, along with some outdated regulations that we have uh, in California, have caused insurance companies to take a pause and look at their book of business um, and make sure that they are solvent. So we're seeing some companies are non-renewing folks in wildfire risk areas. Other companies are writing less business. Um, it's a wash all over uh, what the variety of things the insurance companies are doing. But the main point is we need to bring in adequate premiums to be able to pay claims. And we're working closely with the California Department of Insurance to modernize things like Prop 103 uh, to give incentives to homeowners and businesses uh, to mitigate on their property, yeah. you know, harden your home, clear land, have community programs. Uh, these are all part of the solution. Well, right now, not much of an incentive there. If, if State Farm stopped accepting the homeowner's insurance, obviously you have other options out there. But if you look at the facts right now, California has seen an average of more than 7,000 wildfires each year. And here it is on your screen, consuming an average of more than 2 million acres. Over the past five years, as according to data from the governor's office. And then there was a statement that you see here. This is from State Farm Insurance Company saying they made this decision to due to historic increases in construction costs, outpacing inflation, rapidly growing uh, catastrophe exposure and challenging reinsurance market. Your reaction there, Janet, maybe you can give us a little behind the scenes of how the insurance company works. And, and do you see other um, homeowners insurance following suit? as State Farm did? Homeowners insurance companies are all looking at uh, what their book of business is in California. So if they have too much exposure, they may be non-renewing policies. They may shrinking their business in California. Uh, we don't want to go insolvent. We don't want to see the insolvencies that we're seeing in a state like Florida. Uh, we are working closely with the Department of Insurance to make sure that we can charge adequate premiums for these risks and high cost of building and reinsurance. Insurers have to buy insurance for themselves. So, you know, they may uh, have a million dollars. I'm just throwing out an arbitrary number um, in insurance premiums or insurance risk they're uh, facing, and then they reinsure for another two million. Mm -hmm. uh, that way, if there's a catastrophe, they can pay all their losses. The prices of reinsurance have also gone up. So we need to reflect that in our rate making process in California, other states allow it. Uh, California actually has uh, traditionally artificially lower insurance rates and part of that is due to an outdated uh, Proposition 103. We need to modernize it. Uh, we also need to be able to use the new technology that's available to model catastrophe risks um, in California in our rate-making process. 
So these are all the things that insurance companies are discussing with the California Department of Insurance. And we feel confident that we will come to solutions that make sense, that we can stay solvent and pay claims and still uh, serve Californians with homeowners and business insurance. Sure. We want to stay in this state. We want yeah. to insure people. Yeah, absolutely. Again, if, if folks haven't left the state of California, but they want to be there and, and of course, live there in, in a home that's well insured, uh, State Farm would not be an option at this point. We'll wait and see what happens in the future. Janet Ruiz, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.